Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the beta channel, to be more exact, for the Windows 11 22H2 version. So for those of you who didn't watch the latest video that I've done on the beta channel, I will need to explain to you again what are the differences between the two builds that will be released from now on on the beta channel. And also, I'm going to explain you other information that will be related to this build. Before talking about anything, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by AppMySite.com. AppMySite.com is a very cool website that allows you to convert your website into an awesome Android or iOS app. AppMySite makes app development easy. You can build premium native mobile apps for both Android and iOS without writing a single line of code. The process of creating an Android app is really simple. You just need to select certain design elements and in the end connect your website with the platform. Finally, you will be able to download the app for your phone and use it. Visit appmysite.com for more details and create your app today. Let's continue with the video. So Microsoft released to the beta channel two different builds, the 22622.436 and the 22621.436. As a rewind for those of you who didn't watch my last video about the beta channel, basically the 22622 build will have the new features rolling out enabled by default and the build 22621 will have the new features off by default or turned off by default. Also Microsoft is reminding us that if you receive the update that has the features turned off by default, you can switch to the other build that has the features enabled by default by going into Windows Update and checking for updates and that build will be offered for you. So I think that's really nice done by Microsoft. So now let's talk about what is new in this build. So first of all, Microsoft improved the nearby sharing in Windows 11. So if you want to share an item by clicking this button, this was improved. So the discovery of devices under nearby sharing when sharing a local file from the desktop, File Explorer, Photo, Snipping Tool, Xbox, and other apps that use built-in Windows Share window has been enhanced by using UDP. Network needs to be set to private along with Bluetooth to discover nearby devices. You will now be able to discover and share to more devices including PCs. So if I click on my devices, I should receive the devices that are on my private network and also on my Bluetooth. Also, Microsoft is improving the ability to share local files to OneDrive. When sharing a local file from the desktop, file explorer, photo, snipping tool, xbox and other apps that use the built-in windows share window, you can choose OneDrive as a target to directly upload the file to OneDrive and share it further along with access control options. All this can be done right from sharing local files in file explorer without any context switches or opening the OneDrive app. A quick note for Microsoft is that this feature is currently only available for Microsoft account. A user will need to switch to their Microsoft account via the top right profile icon in the share window. If logged in via AAD. Now we're going to talk about some changes and improvements that you can find in the build 22622, the build that has all the features enabled by default. So for example, Windows Terminal is now the default terminal in Windows 11. This means all command line applications will open in Windows Terminal automatically. Command prompt in PowerShell, for example. The setting for this change can be found in settings, then privacy and security, and then click on for developers and you'll find here terminal choose the default terminal app to host command line applications and you can change it from here. Regarding input, you can now report animated GIFs that you feel are inappropriate from the emoji panels. So if you are in the GIFs section, you can click on report a GIF and you can select the GIF to report as inappropriate. Now let's talk about a few fixes. So these are again fixes that are only available in the build that has all the features turned on by default. So regarding File Explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue where the tab order when you Using Control plus tab would be wrong if you rearrange the tabs in File Explorer. They fixed an Explorer crash when dragging tabs around. If Show All folders in is enabled, the dividers in File Explorer's navigation pane should no longer show. Opening a zipped folder in a new tab should no longer have a blank tab name. Removable drives should no longer unexpectedly displayed in a section by themselves in the navigation pane. They also fixed an issue where the Add New Tab button wasn't clearly visible when using aquatic or desert contrast themes. A faint line should no longer display 
display between the current tab and the command bar, updated the tooltip when hovering over a tab to suggest using Ctrl plus W to close the tab. If focus is on the tab row, Ctrl plus W will no longer unexpectedly close two tabs instead of just the tab in focus. And they also fixed an issue where the tab row might unexpectedly expand vertically, covering the command or our contents. And we also have a quick fix regarding start. Microsoft fixed a start crash, which was impacting some insiders on bill 22,622.160. Now, of course, we have fixes that are for both build 22,621 and 22,622, but the list of that you will be able to find in the article below in the description, along with the known issues. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you do not understand anything about the beta channel, because it is pretty confusing in my opinion, please let me know below in the comments and I will try to explain it to you better. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.